Hi, I'd like to show you how you can make a spherecon, specifically this simple one. And you can refer to Wikipedia about the information about who uh, discovered it and a lot more information. But I'd like to show you how you can make it in SketchUp. Go to uh, Polygon in front view and draw a square from the origin. Uh, you can uh, decide what the radius is. In this case, I'm going to choose 30 millimeters. That's three centimeters from the origin to this point. So the diameter going this way is six centimeters or 60 millimeters. So I'm going to choose the circle tool and I've already selected 99 sides to make it very smooth. Change the camera view to ISO and draw a circle from the blue axis as a path. Select the path, click follow me tool and I have created a uh, double cone. We can look at it. Looks pretty good. Now, what I need to do is intersect this vertically. And to do so, I'm going to go to front view again choose a square again. I'm going to draw that from the blue axis again to intersect. Let's look. You can see I have intersected my shape into two congruent halves. I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit. So like that. Select everything use the arrow selection, right click, and I want to intersect these. Let's see if I have successfully separated these two halves, and I have. Now, I have no use for this square anymore. I get rid of it. You can see those edges are created here. Now, what I'm going to do Select, double click, hold the shift key, double click on this side, and turn my selection into a group, make group. Now it's not as solid because it's missing that face, but doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the other side and click, click until everything gets selected. It said triple click. One more time, I'll show you. Okay, and now I right click make it into a group again. Now this one should be solid, and it is. At this point I don't have any use for the other half. I get rid of it, because what I want is uh, this one. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. So edit, copy, or control C. Now, I'm going to go and turn this 90 degrees. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I click the rotation tool, click the origin as my center of rotation, click one of the points, and type in 90, enter. Now, camera, standard view. Now I'm gonna go to ISO again, and zoom out a little bit. Edit, paste in place. Remember the one um, we copied before we turn this shape? You can see that. Now, I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip this along the green axis. So I 
again. I click, flip along green. Perfect. Now I have to slide this over. Um, so I can actually pick a point to make my job easy. Make sure it's uh, that trail is green, that dotted line. So I can just type in 30, enter. And you can see everything matches perfectly because that intersection is the same. That's uh, a, a square. Now, what I have done is su successfully creating it's very fun. Let me actually color it. I'm gonna actually use like if I color one, I'm basically coloring all of them. Let's change the color of one. Yet. Uh, this has very unusual um, movement patterns. Okay, now actually, all I need is one um, because it's hard to print um, like this. Uh, and I, how, how would you print this um, without supports, obviously? Now, whereas if I just take one, if I use one, since the other one is identical to this, I could uh, glue two of them together, or I could uh, embed four neodymium magnets in the corners, make sure the polarity is right, so I could turn and make them stick together. Or I could create um, a way to connect these two. Now, how would I, how would I do that? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw a line from here to here to find out where the middle is. Okay, I will get rid of that later. Let's say I want to create like a shaft. Uh, like a place for a shaft to fit in. So let's say one centimeter, so the diameter should be five millimeters. If I enter. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of the lines I don't need. This one, this one, this one. Let's say I'm going to push this back a little bit. Let's say one centimeter or ten millimeters. Perfect. And so I can print this like that. I should be able to print this like that without any supports. 